all right guys welcome to my youtube channel this is the part two of the series i started about starting your car air freshener business okay if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe my name is chris and you are welcome to my channel all right um for you it is the next day or two days from now a week from now for me it is the same day i recorded the first video okay so i don't want you guys to spend all your time watching me on youtube that's why i had to break it so this is the part two so in your mind in your mind's eye believe this is another day okay all right so um the last video i talked to you guys about the materials that you would need to start your car air freshener okay by the way any of the materials i showed you in the previous uh, video can work as your car air freshener so we talked about the felt we talked about the wood all right we talked about the ceramic the stone right talked about that and i also talked talked to you guys about the eva all right talked about that and i told you guys the reasons why i don't use the eva and the reasons why i would like to use them uh, for now I'm not going to be referring to the EVA uh, or the Aroma Beats. I'm not going to be talking about that. But if you are already doing it, kudos to you. If you want to look into that, kudos to you as well. Um, but I won't be talking about it right now. I want to talk about something that people could actually afford and they can use right now to start their car air freshener business. Okay, the number one thing that you guys... Um, one of the number one material that you guys uh, you, you guys have access to that you can use it's the felt and the ones that I showed you guys about one two three four uh, materials you there, there are a lot of other materials you could use okay I've seen people use cloth you know for their car fresh now I've seen people use um, other things you know just to send your cars if you've seen the spray ones that people just spray in their cars so those are other ways you can do it but i'm now talking about the ones that you guys can readily go and get and start your car air freshener business today okay so the first one i want to talk about is a card stock of course right so with the card stock you can use what we call um the iron on method all right with the iron on method you will need a uh, heat um, transfer paper okay uh, heat transfer paper is something like this so heat transfer paper something like this all right this one is um the laser one i believe yeah so this one is a laser heat transfer paper i sell this and I sell the um, the ink um, jet as well. Okay, this if you want to use that, you you put the image. You know, you design your image on your computer, and you can mirror the image. You have to mirror the image so it can you reflect. It can show the proper um, position of your image when you iron it on. Okay, so you can use that to create your own design so you can do something like this so you can see this is the iron on and you can see that here is white and the material or the design itself has the iron burn okay so the ironing that you did on this one is gonna have a different color if the entire design doesn't cover the cardstock itself all right so this cardstock i bought in the united states it's one of the ones i bought in 2011 it's one of these ones or one of these ones all right so i bought them in 2011 and i did this that long ago okay you can see my old logo right there all right so the issue about this is that when you use iron urn sometimes i don't want to say majority of the times sometimes you could have something like this differences in color okay 
see white here, white there. If you want to have a uniform color, which means you have to make sure that the design of your um, of your image, you know, covers. You make sure you you make the dimension, you measure it, base or above. If, for example, if this is three by four, you want to make sure your image is at least three point five by four point five, so you can cover it. So when you do your iron on whatever image you have the color of the background of the image will cover the entire cardstock i hope you understood what i just said okay so that's that's um for the iron on the other method you can use is heat press so you can use heat press and do the same thing iron on and heat press is just transferring your image through heat okay so that's what it's doing Okay, so you can use heat press and you will get probably a smoother, uh, I should say, semi-professional look than what you have with the um, iron on. Okay. However, with the, with the iron on, you can do it, you, you, you can start right now, you can start today. You get your material today, you get your your iron i believe everyone has a pressing iron um, or should have a pressing iron at home and you can just use that and do this okay with the press um, heat press it could cost you roughly from 130 dollars to probably 250 dollars or more so that's where you can use you can start with other people can use um forgot the name of this that I got. Let me see. Other people can use Easy Press, and you will see it right here. It is um, one of the ones that I bought as well, and you can use that for your iron on as well to give you that heat press um, professional look as well. Okay. So I've done some of this. These guys can see. I've done them in the past and I've done all of this. So if you guys take a closer look of what I have here, you can see the difference between this and this. Okay, let me drop that and show you guys the difference. See how one is clear enough and one is darker, right? So even though I used iron on on this, the material that I use on this is polyester felt, which is synthetic felt. So that's the one you will popularly see on Amazon or Etsy that people will sell the blank to you. Okay, so for example, this, this is a cardstock. It is not a synthetic polyester felt. This is a felt, okay? For a felt, it's more flexible sometimes, okay? And the, the cardstock is more rigid, all right? And with the felt, the polyester felt, the issue with the felt is that although it gives you bright colors, crisp colors, the issue is that it doesn't hold fragrance oil that much. It leaks through. It feel like customers open the bag and they can feel the oil in their hand. Okay, they can feel that, and um, it takes almost forever to dry. And one of the other disadvantage about the the felt is that this is not fragrant. I don't have oil in this. Okay, there's no oil in this because um, I didn't want to, you know, hold this forever without it drying up because i want to use this as an example okay there is one that i actually fragrant okay let me see if i can find it here okay found it all right so this one i fragrant and i've used this as an example so many times to show you guys about the disadvantages of uh felt uh, uh polyester felt it still has oil in it okay you guys can see it still has oil in it 
and I fragrant this in 2021. Okay. So if I if I take it out of the bag, it still has that oil in it. All right. And you can see the discoloration that it gave me. So when I added fragrance oil to it, it started smearing the color that I put in it. The design started smearing it. So you guys can see that it's it just gave me that discoloration. All right. Okay, so for me personally, felt is a no-no. I don't I don't use synthetic polyester. It's a complete no-go area for me. All right. The other thing I wanted to say about cardstock and felt is that there could be a hit and miss when you do iron on or even your heat press. There could be a complete um, chaos that could happen. For example, when I did my um, heat press um, using Easy Press and Iron On, I could sometimes get results as this, right? We get results as this, and you can see some of the blemishes there. You can see some of the, you know, peels that happen there, right? And you can see sometimes it gets a little bit better, okay? Not perfect, but you can see it just gets a little bit better. But other times, you could get something like this. Totally a mess. You don't want to sell this to your customers, right? Even for a dollar, nobody will buy this, okay? And then you get something like this. So sometimes using the um, heat press or using the easy press or using your iron on, it wouldn't always give you something like this. Even with something like this, you can still see some blemishes there. You can see that. Okay, some customers don't care. Sometimes you overlook it. It's handmade. It's okay. I'm starting my business. It's fine. Family and friends will patronize me. They will buy that. It's okay. But remember, you're scaling. You, 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 you want to look professional. You want to sell your product in stores. You want to sell your product to customers that will be proud to put your product in their car. Okay? So you want to make sure you have a professional look. Okay? So for me, I didn't think this would go well. I didn't think this would go well. All right. I've been lucky sometimes I get something like this with iron on. Okay. Been lucky to get something like this with iron on. But like I said, sometimes it's a hit and it's a miss. So you don't want to really completely rely on that if you are going professionally starting at first trying to test the market trying to test your um your fragrance strength trying to test test your durability the longevity of your fragrance in your cardstock it's okay to start with iron on or heat press it's okay to start like that so you can see what you need to work on okay okay that's for cardstock now let's talk about this, okay? The wood. There are different wood that you can use. The one that I used for this, I believe was, um, um, I think, birch, birch wood, and it smells good, okay? And for me, this looks more earthy, like woody, you know, like um, natural. Okay, this is as close as you, you will get to being um, natural when it comes to a car air freshener. Okay, and they look presentable, all right? And I've gone even further to create something like this, right? Gone further to create a product like this with wood, right? So inside you have... Let me take this out. This is the sample that I got. So inside you have the felt, right? You have the felt inside. So the openings here 
uh, where the vent, like when you put it in your vent, so when your vent blows hot air or cold air, it comes from here into this opening, right? And your felt, centered felt, is sitting there, right? Oops, it's sitting in there. So now it's pushing the fragrance, you know, out. When you close it, it's pushing it out from these openings into the atmosphere within your car. So that's what I created using um, wood, okay? I still actually sell this. And this has to be the most expensive car air freshener that I carry, okay? So I sell this on Amazon and I sell it sometimes on my website. Um, people still buy them, okay? So that is the other ones that you guys can use. So I talked about the cardstock and I also talked about this. And all of this you can actually create you can create this on Alibaba, okay? You can create this on Alibaba. That's where I did mine. And this was in 2015. And this was in 2021, I believe. That's when I created this. Okay. So now, when it comes to cardstock, because this is something people will want to start with. So you, so you guys will ask me, I want to start my business now. Which one do you recommend for me to go by right now? And I would say you start with the felt for now. The reason is that the felt is more, is cheaper to start with, okay? But it will give you high turnover, okay? It will give you your um return on investment faster okay uh when i did this it took me time to get the return of my investment i don't know why people weren't buying this that much i don't know why okay and of course when i'm i'm still using this and um it's slow with the return on my investment i have not really gotten them back yet okay but when I went to card stocks, when I went to card stocks, the return on my investment took one month. No kidding, guys. And I've said this before. It could be an anomaly for me. It could be what people will call luck, right? But it was it was just, it, it was shocking for me that within one month I recovered the investment I put in it. And um, everything from there became pure profit, okay? And like I said before, you could start with this, doing it by yourself. You could start with making this by yourself, all right? And ironing them and putting fragrance in them and waiting, them to, waiting for them to dry and stuff and putting them in a plastic bag just like this or like this and then putting them in an envelope and shipping them to your customers all right you could start with that but you do not want to stay there the reason i'm saying you don't want to stay there is because it kind of makes you stagnant when you're doing the same thing like this sending to people and you want to compete with other people who have like um, a higher brand when it comes to that. You know, you want to compete with people who have, you know, their name out there already. You know, you want to position yourself in a way whereby you can compete with the big boys up there. Okay. So for me, I started like this, right? And when I realized that I need to get my brand out there, I, I need to put my name out there, ANC Candles, I realized that I needed to upgrade myself. I needed to upgrade my product. I needed to stand out. I needed to create a better design, a better packaging, 
I need to make myself unique. I need to make my product to stand out. So what did I do? I decided to create my own unique brand. So I came up with stuff like this, right? So I switched everything up, right? And most of you have seen my Kaya Freshness before. So everywhere you go, anywhere you go and you see something like this, you know it's ANC candles, right? So I, I went from this, creating stuff like this, right? Ironing myself, heat pressing myself to creating something like this, right? And now, not only that, I decided to make sure that if I'm sending this to my customers, I'm, I'm packaging it in a way whereby it's presentable to them, right? So now you see something like, like this going with them. So for example, when this is in a plastic bag, put it in like that. I cover it so you see something like that right so now people are noticing my car air freshness okay I've sold over two thousands of this of two thousand of this okay when I create when I got mine I had about four thousand of these cards different design eight different designs okay I had four thousands of them and now I've sold so many of them from my website. And it's been, to me, I think it's just easier. And I'll tell you guys the reason I'm saying it's easier. It's easier because I don't have to spend time ironing on this or heat pressing on this. I don't have to spend time with that anymore. All I do is design this, send it to my manufacturer, my manufacturer looks at my design, you know, tells me, okay, this is the amount that I need to make for this amount of price. Then I negotiate the price with them. He agrees and I pay. He makes the design for me. All right. He makes them for me. He makes the cards for me. He sends me the strings or the ropes, right? Whether white or black depends on what they send you. He also sends me bags, all in one price, okay? And all I have to do when I get my package, my order, all I have to do is get them ready <laughs> by putting them in fragrance oil when my customers from Amazon Handmade or eBay or my website you know makes a purchase I go take one of them put them in a bag seal the bag put them in the card staple the, the card and I ship it I don't have to now start thinking if my heat press or if my iron on or easy press is going to produce something like this or like this or maybe produce something clean like this i don't have to guess anymore about that okay because the more i'm guessing if this is going to work or this is bad then I throw this up. That is inventory I'm throwing away. That is damaged goods, right? But now I know that getting this, I'm getting quality already. I'm getting what I paid for. I'm getting exactly, you know, what I want. So that's what, you know, I'm doing right now. And it has gotten to so a point takes me where now less than three minutes to fulfill an order. It used to take me, <laughs> I would say, an hour or two guessing if this is going to work, ironing, doing... You know what they say, work smart, right? It's, it's better to work smart than work hard, right? So that's what I've been doing lately. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video right now because the next video, I'm going to show you guys 
exactly how you can start your own car air freshener business without going through the hassle of guesswork with your iron on or having to guess if your heat press is going to give you the perfect um, image or buying felt or synthetic and having the smear campaign going on on your card or having the rundown of your oil on your image and colors are just everywhere discoloration everywhere so if you don't want to have the issues like i used to have something like this and you want to upgrade your product your brand to something like this then you want to come back for the next video the part three okay so i'll see you guys there once again if you haven't um, click the like button and subscribe to this channel this is your opportunity to do that i hope i'm giving you guys something important i'm sharing you i'm sharing with you things that you might not see elsewhere okay so next time i'll see you i'll be talking to you about how you can start your own car freshener business that is just um like this the way i do it okay talk to you guys later have a good day bye bye